Hello and welcome to another video and today we're going to look at Coma by the Suicide Boys. Let's just get started. Yeah, uh, really, really simple beat. We have two samples, um, three drum tracks. We got a kick drum, hi hats, and a snare, and some bass at the bottom. And that's all it is. Let's start with the intro vocals, bitty. Yep. Bit crush. We'll just turn these settings off so you can hear the difference. We're just capturing the vocal pocket, little little vocal pocket just there in the middle, so that everything else sounds nice ar around it. As for the melody. Yeah, I've had to slow it down quite a lot, which kind of gives it a stretched out kind of feel because the sample's already kind of slow, but I quite like it to be honest, and I guess that is what the song sounds like. Uh, yep, some compression. You can hear the compression just basically makes it louder, but it's also compressing it, so you might as well, right? And a volume... Um, automation here just to bring it up as it gets into the main drop do you call it a drop i don't know uh snare drum need i say more it's a snare drum hi-hats yep Kick drum. Here we go. Drums have got reverb on them. Actually, I think the master has reverb on it. Yep, everything's got reverb on it. Got the hi-hats playing through a sampler. The kick and the snare playing through a different kind of sampler. Saturation, free clip. A little bit of bass boosting. If you've been watching my videos um, and actually paying attention... This is basically all you need to make these, this kind of drum sound is saturation and clipping. And to be honest, you can swap the order around. Maybe you want this to be above it or below it. And you can just try it out and see what you think. And bass. We got some side chaining on. If you've never used Reason before, you're probably looking at this going, what the heck is this? In Reason, you basically plug in things manually, and that's what I like about it. It feels more real, you know? Um, anyway, we've got some side chaining going on. It's actually behind my camera here. The This cable here is the side chaining cable coming from the uh, kick drum. Into there. Side chaining. You can see this uh, meter in the middle when the kick drum hits compressing the uh, bass quite a lot. Now I don't always do that. In fact, I, I hardly ever use side chaining, but sometimes you just really need the kick drum to stand out a bit more, which I think is important for this beat. Uh, got one of my RC20 presets on the master. Really, it's just the reverb that I like most about this, but it does boost 
the frequencies in the mids and tame the highs and the lows at the same time, which is what I think this beat needs. OTT. <laughs> OTT is so good and we'll just end it off with a tad limiting I say a tad it's actually about 6 dB it's four, four and a half sorry yeah do you not think when the second part of this comes in when the hi-hats drop down in pitch. It just makes it sound that little bit more dark than it already is. Do you feel that or is it just me? I like it. This is quite a good beat actually. As simple as it is. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching again. Subscribe.